Welcome to Q&A software, the GST accounting software for your company. In this video, I will talk about GST payment on imported goods in Q&A Firebird version. You can find this article by visiting the URL below. Our forwarder will pay our GST tax on behalf of us for all import shipment. Hence, when we match foreign supplier invoices, we do not pay GST to the supplier. We have to key in IM tax code for this supplier, but the tax rate is zero. However, when we pay to forwarder, we need to pay 6% of the foreign bill amount. QA has a feature that is able to handle this issue. There are two scenarios to handle the imported goods from overseas. We will start off with scenario 1 where we will make payment directly to customs or the forwarder company in payment voucher. For example, I will be purchasing from Techcom. Please select the text code IM0 when you input the purchase invoice. Please take note that GST will be imposed when we remove the goods from customs since the overseas supply is not a Malaysian GST registered company. Techcom cannot charge us for GST and the GST rate is zero. Therefore, we cannot use the tax code IM now. We should use the tax code IM0. When you make the payment to your supplier, you can make payment anytime and is not subjected for GST. However, when we make the payment to the forwarder, we need to pay the GST at the same time since the forwarder company has already made the GST payment on our behalf. Now, go to General Ledger, Payment Vouchers. Enter the payment to the forwarder company. For example, carriage inverts amounting 50 ringgit. For the payment of GST, Please right click and select Imported Goods Removed from Custom Control, K1. After right click, the screen will pop up as shown. Select the creditor code. Remember to set the GST tax code as IM0 and click on Enquiry. Remember to click on the document code. Now remember to input the import declaration number. The GST is charged based on the assessed value by customs. There is an instance that the purchase invoice amount will not be the same as the assessed value. Therefore, we have to change the total assessed amount in here. After you have clicked on the OK button, you should be able to see the payment voucher with the status Import Goods K1. Click save then view the journal and you should be able to see the posting as shown. The input tax from carriage inverts is 6% of RM50 and the input tax of total assessed amount is 6% of RM650. As for scenario 2, it is when we haven't made the payment to forward the company who has paid the GST on behalf of us and they have sent us the bill. Therefore, we will need to enter this transaction in bill entry. Let's begin. Let's first create a purchase invoice. And remember to use the tax code IM0. Here is the GL posting and once again take note that there is no GST charges here. Now let's make the payment to the forwarder company. If the forwarder company was set as one of the supplier in the company database, use bill entry for this transaction. If the forwarder company was not set as a supplier, then we will need to use payment voucher but pay to the forwarder company instead of customs. Now select the supplier code, which is the forwarder company. Enter the item detail for the amount charged by the forwarder company. The 
right click and select imported goods removed from customs control k1 and imported goods removed from customs control k1 window will appear select the purchase invoice supplier code and text code then click on inquiry select the related bill convert the text code to tx6 for the customs assessed value field this field will be used to calculate the input tax for imported goods and the system will take the value of the purchased invoice by default. However, users are allowed to change the value for this field. Now fill in the import declaration number. Note that the bill is now labeled as imported goods. Let's save this. And here is the bill entries GL posting. The input tax for goods purchased is 6% of 6,500. And the GST input tax for carriage inwards is 6% of 200. So the total payable amount to the forwarder company is RM200 plus RM390 plus RM12. Thank you for watching.